So what we're doing at this experiment is trying to figure out exactly why and how trees die. Even though everyone knows that droughts come along and vegetation dies, nobody yet can predict where, when, how fast, and how long. The idea is that these drought structures remove about half of the water that falls. So the rain or snow falls here and it's pulled away, drains downhill, so that this ecosystem receives about 50% of the ambient rainfall. So this induces a drought and drought stress for these trees. In addition, we know that when there are droughts, it's usually really hot. And we expect that to get much worse because all the evidence shows quite strongly that the Earth's temperature is going up. This is a juniper tree here. Inside of here, we measure the water flow through the trees. And everything is regulated by these temperature and humidity sensors, which are designed to keep the temperature in here about five Celsius above ambient temperatures. The air is blown in from HVAC units through these, uh, through these ducts. And the other species we're looking at here is the pinyon pine. Juniper and pinyon pine are very useful study specimens because juniper is fairly drought tolerant, although it does die during drought, but not as much as pinyon pine, which is fairly similar to most pines globally. This experiment is a one-of-a-kind experiment in the sense of both its size and its combination of factors that we're manipulating. What's completely novel about this particular experiment is that we not only have the drought structure, but we're also heating the trees, which allows us to really assess what, how things might function in the future. It's important for society to be aware of this, I think, because Myself and lots of others like me, we really care about our forests. We care about our wildlands. And if, if they're going to be here for our kids, we will have to make decisions as a society to, about how we're going to manage our energy portfolio and the decisions we make with regards to climate. I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to have an amazingly good team, great managers, excellent staff, excellent students and postdocs and we've been able to build together over the years uh, a program including this wonderful experiment that allows us to really start answering these questions and without these experiments we're not we can't really figure out how trees die so I'm extremely excited about this it's really fun <laughs>